And Udanidhi Stalin has now responded to Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman's interview to CNN News 18 on the education policy. He's gone on to say, they're trying to impose Hindi, we will oppose Hindi imposition in any form. So the national education policy row only escalating and exploding this after we got you that exclusive conversation with the finance minister responding to the decision that has been taken by the Karnataka government. Let me just give you better context. Remember, the Karnataka government, the chief minister yesterday had made an announcement that they will do away with the NEP from next year. Now, there was a response that came in from the likes of Baswaraj Bomai, the former chief minister and many others as well. Now, we're getting a reaction coming in from Udinidhi Stalin also. He's also responded to that interview of Nirmala Sitaraman and he's gone on to say that this is just imposition of Hindi. We will oppose imposition of Hindi in any form. So, that's the reaction as I pointed out that's coming in as far as uh, Udinidhi Stalin is concerned. Let's first bring in our colleague Purnima to try and understand and get better context of the comment that is coming in from Udinidhi Stalin. Purnima, give us better context of the point that Udinidhi Stalin is making. Well, in fact, uh, the national education policy is something that's opposed by uh, Tamil Nadu as well. And this uh, comes a day after Chief Minister also uh, during his Independence Day speech said that uh, education should come under uh, the state list and therefore uh, and therefore said that they will continue to oppose the national education policy while uh, uh, while uh, Minister Nirmala Sitaraman uh, said that uh, they are doing they are opposing NEP only because Prime Minister had introduced it. Uh, uh, Udayadi Stalin uh, responding to that interview says that uh, uh, any form of Hindi imposition will con uh, will be uh, boycotted by a state like Tamil Nadu, and they will uh, uh, they will continue to oppose uh, the national education policy. But yeah, exactly as you were pointing out, Poon Poonima, we'll just request you to stay on with us. Some reactions coming in. Let's play out those first, and then we'll continue the conversation. Nirmala Sitaraman in an interview to CNN News 18 said that uh, national education policy is not any form of Hindi imposition and that opposition parties are doing this only because Prime Minister is saying so, uh, is introducing this. Uh, I haven't uh, seen her interview, but uh, they are trying to impose Hindi in the, in the way of the new education policy and uh, DMK will uh, object in any way if Hindi is imposed in Tamil Nadu. Thank you. Thank you. So that reaction coming in, Purnima still continues to be with us. But Purnima, that's exactly the kind of criticism that's coming in, what you were pointing out a short while ago. The BJP is saying this is not against, this decision is not against a particular policy. It's against the Modi government. This was brought in under the Modi regime and this is just a personal dislike for him. Absolutely. Uh, that's something that uh, Nirmala Sitaraman had said, that uh, just because Prime Minister had introduced this, uh, states like Tamil Nadu are opposing it and uh, national education policy is a three language uh, formula but it's not uh, any form of Hindi imposition and it's being politicized by the opposition parties and the non-BJP rule states. Uh, and DMK says that uh, they have already submit, uh, they formed a committee to uh, study uh, the national education policy and based on the findings they submitted a report on why the state is opposing uh, the, the three language formula and they've submitted this uh, to the central government and uh, they will continue to oppose uh, the national education policy. That's something that uh, DMK says and adds that education should be brought under the state list so that formats like meat can be abolished in a state like Tamil Nadu. That's the word that's coming in from DMK and then the Stalin who also responded to that interview uh, to that interview and said that they will continue to uh, they'll continue to uh, in fact uh, oppose in the imposition in any form. Purnima, we'll just request you stay on with us. In fact, let's play out that exclusive conversation that our managing editor Zakar Jacob had with the Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman. Let's listen in. Since I have you here and since you're from the state of Tamil Nadu, there has been a big issue there. Uh, a student has committed suicide because of the NEET exam. Subsequently, a couple of days after that, his father has also committed suicide. This has now become a big political issue there with the chief minister saying he's going to boycott the at-home ceremony of the governor. Even in Karnataka, just moments ago, we got this word from the chief minister's speech there that they will not implement the national education policy from next year. 
the charge that opposition states have against your government is that you're politicizing education, you're politicizing history textbooks that our children learn from. How would you respond to that? National education policy. Amazing that the Congress party wants to say this or in Karnataka or even the DMK wants to. I don't know if they have said it, but I'm saying this. National education policy is a very future-looking policy. Immense number of people have participated in stakeholders' consultation. It promotes education through your mother tongue. There is no imposition of any language. There is freedom to the student to pick and choose subjects which he feels that he has an aptitude for. Now, immediately because such a versatile, well-researched, well-publicly um, consulted policy is brought in, only because it's brought in by Prime Minister Modi, we like to hate it. Because we dislike the Prime Minister, so we we'll dislike any good thing that he does. NEP is a progressive and a very, very robust education policy. With all the goodness people have taken it uh, and seeing the potentials of, potential of such an education policy.